Hello everyone, so I'm still up north here and I'm still learning the ropes of being below freezing all the time. One of the problems that I've already faced is that uh, now that I have an insulated rear window curtain, because that window isn't heating up anymore, I'm getting a lot of frost that forms on the inside. And I was just kind of ignoring it and using my defroster to keep it clear. And uh, all that water ended up pooling up at the bottom of my hatch and it froze the uh, locking mechanism shut. And because I couldn't get at it from the outside, I had to cut a hole through the inside of my wall and reach in there to free it up. So I'm not too sure how I'm going to solve that one. I might have to build some kind of eaves trough at the bottom of my window to collect all that moisture. But uh, the good thing about my windows frosting over is that uh, they're functioning as a dehumidifier that doesn't require any uh, electricity. Today I'm headed for Ranny Hill. It's supposed to give me a good overlook of the Yellowknife area. It's about 11 kilometers one way and I think I can loop back a different way across some frozen lakes but I'm not too sure. And I wouldn't be doing this on the weekend when all the snowmobilers are out. It kind of ruined the fun for everyone. But it's Tuesday morning and the parking lot was empty so today the trail belongs to me. I think it's time to shave my beard off. You can almost see uh, the skyscrapers of downtown Yellowknife there. This is the Canadian Shield. If it wasn't for all the snow, you'd see a really rocky landscape. But if you're not a morning person, I don't recommend coming here because that's as high as the sun's going to go today. It's already about 12.30, so half your day feels like morning, then half your day feels like afternoon. The daytime part is gone. I can see a lot of snowmobile trails out on the lakes there, so I'm going to try to go back to the van that way. Well, that bike ride today was tough. I barely made it back to my van. I think 22 kilometers on uh, snowmobile trails is equal to at least 100 kilometers on gravel. So I worked up an appetite on that one. And uh, it feels like a meat and potatoes kind of night. And I'm going to have some broccoli along with that too. But I'm going to do it all up on the induction cooktop. How am I going to do that, do you ask? Well, let's take a look. Well, let's take a look at this first. An electric heater. How the heck am I powering a 1500 watt device in here? Well, the benefit to being in a far north city is that there are a bunch of parking spots with uh, block heater plugs. And I can also recharge my battery off that so I don't have to drive around anymore to top up my battery. So it helps me out a lot. And I can also use my induction cooktop to its uh, full potential now. So nothing fancy here. I just eat things as they're finished. So I'm going to have my steak first, then after that uh, I'll make up my potato and the broccoli. Not bad, not bad. So with this vehicle they recommend plugging in the block heater below minus 18 celsius. This morning it's uh, minus 20 but uh, I don't have any sockets nearby that I can plug into except <laughs> except for my inverter so I'm going to give that a try and see if it works. So the block heater is drawing about 36 amps and uh, I've had it plugged in for 45 minutes now. I know that's not nearly enough but i got to cut this experiment short. I've got some serious business to take care of. So maybe I can answer another question now uh, that I get all the time. Where do I go to the bathroom? I really messed up my pot cooking these drumsticks, but I know of an easy way to clean it, so let me show you how to do that real quick. 
So I'm just going to use a little bit of powder detergent. You don't need very much. And uh, some water. And now I'm going to bring that to a boil. So as you start getting some steam, try not to breathe any of that in. So all that chicken burned to the bottom of my pot. It's just coming right off. You can help it along a little bit. It did a pretty good job, but uh, I'm just going to rinse it out good now so that the next time I cook in this it won't taste like soap. Oh yeah, oh that actually took the rest of it off right there. As you can see, good as new. Well, something weird just happened. Uh, I tried to turn on my diesel heater and it wouldn't go. I'm getting an error code of 10 on it and uh, I looked online and people say that it could be a, a clogged air intake, but uh, that seems to be clear. Um, what it seems to be is that my fuel pump isn't turning on. Uh, and at first I thought it could be the fuel has gelled up and clogged it, but I've had much colder nights than this. It's only about minus eight outside, so I don't think that's the problem. Um, but it's actually kind of funny because in my bag of tricks I actually have a, a spare fuel pump and I plugged it into the harness and it fired up. Uh, so something must be wrong with my fuel pump. So I'm going to try to switch them out and hopefully that uh, solves my problem. Alright, that is the sound of success. We're back in business here. Uh, I don't know why that last pump would give out on me so early. I've only been using it for about five months. But uh, I know you're supposed to install them on a specific angle so that uh, they stay lubricated. And as far as I know, it is. So uh, I don't know what would cause it to break. But uh, tomorrow, as soon as I have internet, I'm going to go order uh, another pump just in case this one gives out on me. Tonight I'm going to do something different. I'm going to hike out onto Great Slave Lake and I'm going to bring my uh, stove along and uh, cook up some fish on the frying pan. Alright, before I go, I'm going to get the salmon ready. I'm going to add some butter and lemon and some garlic powder and pepper and seasoned salt. There's just this weird sound underneath the ice, it's just this low, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's, it's kind of creepy. I guess the ice is just under stress. I could actually just feel the ice vibrate when it made that sound. I'm already started on my dessert. Maybe that'll help calm my nerves. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. That's all I have to share for now. Thanks for watching and uh, welcome to all the new subscribers on the channel and I'll see you in the next video.